Hello, everyone. Um, good afternoon. Um, it's very excited to be here talking about my favorite topic, Google Gadgets, too. So, um, oops. Oh, sorry. Yeah, in the next session, um, I will give you a brief intro introduction to Google Gadgets. What are Google Gadgets and why you should really start writing Google Gadgets if you haven't done so. Um, and I will show you some live demos right in front of your eyes and to show you how easy it is to write a Google Gadget. There's no SDKs to download, uh, no new programming languages to learn, and not even a developer API key is required. Um, just launch your favorite text editor and start hacking. Or even better, you can um, write your first gadget right inside your browser, as I will show you in the demos. Next, um, some gadget API libraries will be covered. These libraries will help you um, write sophisticated gadgets um, and boost your productivity. And finally, um, I will share some technical tips with you um, regarding how to promote your killer gadget and make them really, really popular. Okay, first of all, what are gadgets? From a technical point of view, gadgets are nothing but a simple XML format that wraps HTML and JavaScript. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, they are rendered by iGoogle server in iframes, which provide uh, security. What's great about gadgets is that um, it's a great distribution channel for whatever online content you are trying to create. Um, once your gadget is registered in our iGoogle gadget uh, gallery, millions of people will discover your gadget and start using it. Um, and Google provides free hosting, free caching, and free bandwidth for you. Let's see some examples of Google Gadgets. Okay, here is my, oops, iGoogle homepage. And uh, as you will see, we have um, Sudoku puzzle game, uh, to-do list, stock quotations, local weather, YouTube videos. Yes, you can play videos right inside um, the gadget. Um, and we have maps, and we have um, even religious gadgets for every religion in the world. Now, where can you use Google Gadgets? Of course, you can use gadgets on the iGoogle homepage. And without changing a bit of code, gadgets can be um, rendered inside Google Desktop. Mac dashboard widget and um, Vista sidebar widget. And in the enterprise world, IBM WebSphere and BA uh, WebLogic now support Google Gadgets. So um, gadgets are not only consumer oriented. The most exciting thing is gadgets can be embedded on virtually any third party websites. Uh, which allow JavaScript and iframes. So um, now Google has over 5,000 gadgets registered um, in the iGoogle directory, and we, ha we have more unlisted gadgets floating around the world. And the growth rate of gadgets is awesome. We are now rendering over uh, 800 million page views per week, and the growth rate is not so, uh, slowing down from the chart. So uh, who are writing gadgets? Actually, we have a great variety of developers, uh, from teenagers who write gadgets for fun, to professional developers who write gadgets for a living. And the business world has realized that, uh, has started to realize the high uh, ROI ratio and they are also creating gadgets for their online content. Okay, um, 
we are now going to get down to some technical details. What a typical, uh, here's a typical gadget. Uh, as I said, it's a simple XML, uh, XML file. So uh, here's the XML header, and it basically can, consists of three sections. The first one is where you define metadata for your gadget, uh, like a brief description of what your gadget does and a title, a preferred size for your gadget, an author name, author location, and things like that. So uh, iGoogle users will be able to discover your gadget from the gadget directory. And the second section, which is optional, defines user preference. Um, this is something you can offer your users to customize your gadget. And finally, um, the, th the third section is where you put HTML content. Now, um, I'll show you a live demo. Um, let's write a very simple Hello World gadget in 30 seconds. <laughs> Here we are at the uh, documentation page for Google uh, Gadget APIs. Scroll down the page and um, here we have a scratch pad, which not surprisingly is also a gadget itself. The scratch pad, um, although very simple, is also powerful. You can write anything here and hello Australia. Click the uh, preview button, and voila, you've got your first gadget. Well, uh, a Hello World gadget is not very exciting. I will show you something more uh, uh, interesting very shortly. Now, our gadget team offers um, a wide variety of functionalities to you. Um, we we build many uh, libraries, JavaScript libraries that you can use in your gadget to create tabs, to embed flash movies, uh, to adjust the um, height of your gadget, and a lot more. And all you have to do is put one line of uh, X XML tag, require features uh, equals library name, and you're done. You can start using the um, uh, iGoogle libraries. Um, a common use case is uh, for a developer. Um, I think everyone is quite curious about your user base. So um, if you have a free Google Analytics account, you can put this line, IG Analytics, your analytics uh, username, and the path to your gadget. And you're done. Google will start tracking your gadget. And in a few days, you will get a very detailed report about your visitors. Um, another common use case is uh, to embed interactive flash content in your gadget. Uh, so instead of using the traditional HTML tag, write one line of JavaScript. And bingo, you have your flash inside a gadget. Um, and it's pretty easy to um, grab some remote content and build a mashup gadget using our libraries. We offer three methods uh, for you to fetch plain text content, XML content, or a JSON uh, object. And I will show you how to use this. Um, let's create a simple uh, Gadget here, uh, define a div tag, and add some uh, JavaScript code here. Ig fetch v as JSON. Um, I will copy and paste the link uh, to the um, official Google Australian blog, the blog's feed, and paste it here. 
define a callback function. Um, we're going to grab three of the latest uh, blog posts, including summaries. Now inside the uh, callback function, um, we're going to reformat the RSS feed and display it in the DIV. Um, one thing I should mention is that you don't have to define uh, the HTML tag and the body tag for your HTML content because Google will um, render them automatically for you. Okay, now let's click the preview button. Oops, oh, some JavaScript error. Oops, a typo, oh, let's try again. Voila, here is the um, Google Australian blog post right inside our gadget. Of course, you can do more uh, fancy stuff with the APIs. Now, uh, to reach a wider audience, you should consider internationalize your gadget. And instead of writing 15 gadgets for 15 languages, um, which will be a maintenance nightmare. You can simply put localized strings in separate XML files and specify the supported language um, in your gadget specification. And Google will automatically load the right package, the language package for the end user. It's that simple. And Google stores state, gadget state, on a per gadget per user basis. So you can um, store customization options and, uh, for example, nodes uh, on the server side. The user, uh, next time when the user logs into a, uh, to his iGoogle account from another machine, uh, he will see the same, uh, same gadgets and uh, and uh, finally, Google caches all gadget XML files by default. But if your gadget relies on external resources like images or flash files, you should be really careful if they are not cached because um, gadget can generate a lot of traffic. And without using the methods like uh, IG get cached URLs, the huge amount of traffic may bring down your server. And this has happened before. Um, so you should really be careful about using external assets. Now, suppose you have a killer gadget. How do you promote it? How do you let people discover it? For starters, Put your gadget on your homepage or blog, um, and add an Add to Google button, and make it very easy for people to add your gadget to their iGoogle homepage. 
And last but not least, make some compelling screenshots and thumbnail images for your gadget. Um, submit it to the iGoogle content directory, which is um, updated almost uh, once every week. And send your gadget to your friends to spread the word. And if you want to know more about Google Gadgets, you should check these links. Um, okay, that's it. Thank you.